many of you know I love Christmas. It is my favorite holiday of the year. As soon as fall hits, I'm already thinking Christmas. I can bypass uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving. I don't care about any of that. I'm here in the town of Christmas, Michigan. That's right. Here at uh, Santa's workshop on Mistletoe Lane. You got the North Pole there and a giant Santa Claus out here year round. So if you can't make it out to Disney World and you really like Christmas, here's another place that's open year round. I am actually going to put the camera away and check it out in there, otherwise I'm pretty much just driving today. Good morning YouTube world. I am a little tired. I did a lot of driving yesterday. I drove one third of the way from the top of Michigan's peninsula to Florida. One third of that. I'm just outside of Cincinnati. I'm in uh, Franklin, Ohio right now. And I fell asleep at like 2 a.m. and now it's 10 a.m. Just, uh, I did a lot of driving. So, here's the thing. Here's how things work. It turns out there is some hurricane issue from Irma going on in Florida. So after talking with Wayne, he wants me to hold off on getting down there to the final damage is assessed and that has rolled away. So it's like, okay. Oh, forgot to tell you. Yes, I, I dropped my MacBook off just outside of Detroit and they will mail it to me anywhere in the country when it's done and they know I want the hard drive in case they can't fix the MacBook. So uh, I have the Acer MacBook, Acer laptop now for editing, which seems to be working okay. It just takes a little bit of extra time. No problem. I just let it go. Now, as it turns out though, I got another buddy, well I told you guys about Robert in Kansas City, well I got another buddy, Sean, who has the space to let me work on the RV in like a shop with tools and stuff and hookups and well power and stuff. So that's, believe it or not, that's probably the best news I could have possibly heard because none of these like professional shops or even the mom and pop ones even want to touch my RV. So the fact that I have friends on YouTube that are going to allow me to work on my RV at their private space, that's even better. Uh, and um, that's really one of those cool things that brings YouTube and RV communities together. Uh, with that said though, I got to go straight back west from here. Six hour drive back to the St. Louis area on I-70. <laughs> Fine fine by me. Um, yeah, I can deal with St. Louis again, I think. So that's what we're going to do, I guess. So let me get breakfast, nice cup of coffee in me, and we'll go. I know that was a lot of driving yesterday, Jax man. I'm really sorry, sorry. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, you don't even want to talk, okay. Are you mad at me still? Don't be mad at me, buddy. I'm the good guy, remember? Yeah, I love you. But you didn't feed me yet. Guys, I, hi, um, I don't even really have time to do a whole bunch of explaining right now, so I want to tackle some projects with the RV, so if you want to skip ahead, the project officially starts um, at the whatever displayed thing on the screen, whatever it tells you, you can skip ahead to that point of the roof. I just want to let everybody know that I am in the Kansas, St. Louis uh, area here, long way from Michigan, obviously. But with the problems I've been having, when um, an opportunity to use a space like this with tools, um, I'm actually plugged into power right here. Uh, so daytime, I'll be outside at nighttime. We're gonna start knocking out some other stuff with the RV inside the bay here. My buddy Sean is, is very, very, he's saving my butt, really. I got Robert coming over from uh, Kansas City. He's supposed to be here tomorrow night. Another great helping hand friend. So I would say there's no reason to not be panicked right now. Uh, the RV basically limped the whole way here. But I don't think, well, I'm gonna get a price quote on all those injectors for the engine, but we're gonna start slow, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do a full tune-up on the RV, take the doghouse off and do all the, the plugs, cap, rotor, and everything. And then uh, we're gonna do the fuel pump again here <laughs> and then I made an appointment uh, at the muffler shop to have the catalytic converters either replaced or diagnosed there might be something else now actually the idea is 
if the other catalytic converter went out and got hollowed out just like the first one, all that debris could have moved down into the muffler. The muffler could be clogged or somewhere it could be clogged somewhere else and that could affect all of these uh, starting issues or running issues um, as well. So uh, theoretically it's better just to kind of uh, knock out these projects in the right order, the cost effective way, you know. The tune-up would be the, not the easiest but uh, the, the cheapest and then move on to the fuel pump and then the catalytic converter stuff like I said we just don't want to do it we don't have the tools I don't think Robert wants to do it but I'm gonna talk him out of it because I made the appointment the appointments a week away though so I'm gonna be here in st. Louis for at least a week pretty much promise you that and I'm not this is all not gonna be just maintenance and and videos like that I'm gonna hop on the scooter and go explore a little bit and hang out with the guys and and just try to keep my spirits up that's the best thing I can do right now is say uh, the RV is going to be back to 100% by the time I leave here, thanks to my, my friends and, and the work that we're going to put in. But, let's go look at the roof. Welcome to the roof of my RV. This is the original roof. It has never been resealed. Uh, it has had some maintenance and stuff that I have done. That's the original seal around that vent. But around this vent, uh, I did a sloppy job at one time. As much rain as I have been in, it I, I want to, and I usually do this, I reseal my own roofs, I usually do. Uh, in the past, um, I think I always used to use Henry's rubber roof. This time I'm gonna use actual, real EPDM material. I'll show you that later. But the first step here is just going to be to inspect the roof. I have changed the look of the roof up here. As you can see, this I put this antenna back on into the spot. I have not even sealed it up. I just did this yesterday, actually. And I took the old King Antenna wine guard, which was a piece of crumb. And then over here, you have my old satellite dish spot. But before I get any farther here in the roof project, I need to inspect it first. So I'm looking to see how all of these seals held up. Make sure that it's still a little bit soft and pliable. Uh, make sure there's no cracks. Make sure there's nothing going on like this right here that's a problem that needs to be taken care of but yeah make sure there's no cracks I will get my self leveling sealant Dicor and come up here and patch up all the holes that I just took out uh, let me just show you some products here I'm not being paid to show these but I just want to show you what I'm using the self leveling sealant here in white this is going to be for going over any of those cracks uh, filling in the holes and you do this before the main reseal. So, just so you know. And then this, well, that's my cat. Uh, this is the Dicor EPDM rubber roof coating system, acrylic. It can be found at uh, RV sales centers. I am never again going to endorse the big camping store anymore because I think the CEO is a complete not good guy and him letting politics get in the way of his business that has nothing to do with politics just baffles me so I'm done with that store but you can find this rubber stuff at other RV hardware stores. The tricky part with these videos is that it's going to take place over the course of a few days as far as the drawing but I do want to share with you the process so step one on the roof is the inspection phase. Step two would be bringing up the Dicor self-leveling sealant, patching up all the holes and getting rid of all the cracks uh, step three is going to be, an, a day later, is going to be washing the roof and preparing it for the rubber sealant. Uh, I think they also make a primer, but it's basically d the same as washing it really well so that the rubber adheres to it. And then uh, step four, after it's dried, uh, then tilt the panels up and everything and uh, roll it on, uh, get a paintbrush and go around the corners. I'll probably take all the plastic housing off the air conditioner and everything just so that I, it's easy accessible all around the edges. Roll it on, do two, two coats, and as far as I read, two gallons will work for my 24-foot RV. So, yeah. So I'm not finished, but uh, started putting down this self-leveling sealant all over the place and uh, want to finish up and then uh, let this dry. Yeah, so that's uh, that's all I can do for today. I gotta let 
I gotta let this sealant dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll come up here and wash the whole roof. Yeah, the sun's gonna set and it's gonna it's gonna cool off a little bit here. I got one more big project. Well, not even a big project. I'll show you how easy this is gonna be. Hopefully, I say that a lot. Nothing turns out easy. But anyway, this is uh, Sean's shop. He's here just outside of St. Louis. Actually, he's in Illinois, but it's right on the other side of the river. And I think we're in East Alton. Uh, he does uh, car tinting, alarms, remote starts. And I'll put a, a Facebook link below in the video description if you want to check out his page. I'm not on Facebook, but I will put his link on there in case you want guys want to check him out. Um, yeah, let's take a look inside. So, uh, here's my kitchen, guys. I am going to do a quick, easy project, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put in a, a backsplash here, take off these two signs and put them somewhere else. Um, and I think it's going to be really easy. I'm going to be using this product here, available at the big orange hardware store there. Um, what's great about it is it's easy to install. You can even cut it. It looks like real tile once it's put together, but it is like paper thin, really lightweight, so perfect for an RV. And they have these in all sorts of different designs, uh, but I think it's just gonna absolutely make this punch. As far as prepping the uh, surface back here, oh, they want you to do all sorts of, they want you to sand the wall and then prime it to, to be able to accept the adhesion here. And I'm like, no, guys, just no. Now I am gonna, pull off some of the loose part of this right here. I do want a flat surface at least, so I will be pulling off some of this and doing a little bit of sanding to prep it, but other, I mean, I'm no more than like three minutes of work probably. All right, so that's the extent of my prep work, guys. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do. Um, it's all flush, it's all good, it's all ready, ready almost, except for that little part right there that I'll fix. Again, you could spend a bunch more money, but I just don't care, this is gonna work for me. Yep, coming right along here. I have to do a little bit of cutting over here on the side by the door and up by the vent a little bit, but yep, it's coming along. It's gonna look awesome. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. My goodness. I don't think I'm quite done, actually. Since I have more left over and this stuff is pretty expensive, I do want to wrap around this uh, vent here. But gosh, that actually looks pretty darn good. I mean, you get up close, you can see a few imperfections. Let me just stand back here. You can see it just changed my whole kitchen. Gosh, I love it. Man, that's cool. The main reason for being here is to hang out with really good friends. And thank you, Wayne, for all of your expertise. I'll get down there in Florida eventually, dude. Hold on. And uh, Robert for taking so much time out of your weekend to come out here. And of course, Sean and your business here at Modified. Um, you guys are all a lifesaver and uh, I love this RV community and uh, we'll continue. So next video, hopefully we'll do some tune up RV stuff and possibly reseal the roof officially. Have a good night guys. Bye bye. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos and keep following us on the road. Thanks guys.